Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzle and Spice. Today I'm gonna to make a really fun dish. It's kind of fancy if you're looking to impress your boyfriend or your husband or your family. You can make these potatoes. They're called steakhouse potatoes. They're also called Romanoff potatoes. This is what you'll need today. Now I have uh, three Idaho potatoes here that I've already cooked. I have a stick of butter. I'm gonna need some salt and pepper. We'll need some uh, white sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna need a couple of shallots. I don't use shallots real often, but this recipe calls for it, and I thought it would be great to try. Shallots are kind of a cross between a mild onion and garlic, so I'm sure they're gonna be delicious in here. And then we're gonna need some sour cream. I'm gonna talk to you for just a minute about how I prepared these potatoes for today's dish. I'm using three good-sized russet potatoes for this recipe. This will make about six servings. All I'm gonna do is, I've washed my potatoes and dried them, and now I'm gonna wrap them in foil. I'm gonna poke a few holes in them, and I'm gonna cook them in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes till they're nice and soft. So after I took these Idaho potatoes out of the oven, after they were cooked, I unwrapped the foil and I let them on the counter until they cooled and then I put them in the refrigerator overnight on a dish covered in saran wrap because the potatoes have to be cold in order to grate them for this dish. Now um, I'm gonna use a big bowl because the whole point of Romanoff potatoes is you want to mix them very lightly. Uh, because you want to have lots of nooks and crannies, you want lots of crunchiness, and a, you want a showstopper. These potatoes are a showstopper. So I'm going to use my grater here, the big holes, and I'm just going to start grating these potatoes right with the skin on. Just like this. Again, this will make about six servings. I'm going to grate all three of these potatoes. And I'll be right back. Hey, you guys, before we go any further, are you subscribed to my channel yet? And if you're not, what are you waiting for? You don't want to miss my recipes. Every Thursday morning, I've got a video recipe on. Please make sure you subscribe, click on the thumbs up, and share these with your friends. Because you know if you like them, your friends will like them too. All right, now that I've got all those potatoes shredded beautifully, I'm going to turn my oven on to 425. we go we'll get that preheated and I'm gonna cut up my shallots I want to make sure my knife is really sharp you guys are familiar with my Rachel Ray knife uh, I keep looking at the uh, new set that she has it's three knives it's this knife and it's a straight edge knife and it's a paring knife and they're teal in color they're gorgeous I love the rubber grip on this it's so sure-handed it feels like my right hand in the kitchen I'm so used to it now and I always like to make sure it's sharp so I'll give it a few swipes in my sharpener just about every single time I use it to make sure it's good and sharp. Let me smell that. Ooh, that smells good. Wish you could smell that, Ed. Can you smell it? No, not really. Okay. Too far away. Just gonna mince these up really well. Two shallots for six portions of these potatoes. They smell really nice and fresh. Okay. I'm gonna get these all chopped up and I'll be right back. So if you guys know anything about me, you know I love butter. So I, I'm melting a whole stick of butter. Now, I didn't say this dish was low calorie. It's delicious and it's decadent. So I took one stick of butter and what I'm gonna do is I thought how fun would it be to put it in a couple of different kinds of dishes. I have these little ramekins that would be like one serving size. So I'm gonna put some into these and I'm gonna put some into this little dish. You wanna put this in kind of a shallow baking dish so that you can get as much crunch and brownness around the top as possible. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of butter into each dish. 
Oh, I'm getting excited about this. How about you, Ed? Yes. Everything's better with butter, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. Now we're ready to mix these potatoes up. Come up here, Ed. See how nicely they're shredding? I'm gonna just put in a good amount of salt because potatoes, I mean, they crave salt so much. There is a little bit of salt and cheese, so you don't overdo it. And then I'm gonna put in some pepper. I love pepper. Then I'm going to put my shallots, or how Gordon Ramsay would say shallots, <laughs> into the bowl. And then here's the trick. You don't wanna go mix in this too hard. You wanna mix it softly because you want the potatoes to stay separate and you want there to be lots of nooks and crannies and crunchiness and brownness and beautifulness in this. So just like that. Careful, I don't wanna go flinging these. There's my oven, it's ready to go. Next, I'm gonna put in, and I'm not even measuring, but it's about a cup and a half of sour cream. And again, we're gonna stir it in gently. That's about right. And we're gonna put in about two cups of the white cheddar. And if you notice, this says organic. There's no reason why I bought organic at all. It was on sale, and it was the kind of cheese that I wanted. Okay, that's about two cups. We actually, I actually want to use about three cups, maybe. And then we're just going to take a few minutes to gently stir this. Again, we don't want the potatoes to smash together like if you were making mashed potatoes or some other kind. So we're just gonna take our time, keep all those little pieces as separate as we can and just get all this goodness mixed in here. You see how this is kind of lumpy and you see that, Ed? Yes. That's how we want it. We don't want these perfectly smooshed together. So I'm gonna start putting some of this into my ramekins. And what we wanna do here is we want to pile these up lightly, the mixture, and don't, you don't wanna smash it down. Remember, nooks and crannies. We'll press it down just a little bit at the top, but the more nooks and crannies, the better. I think these are gonna be really fun, these little ramekins, don't you, Ed? I think you're right. Look how cool that looks already. Okay, let's move that one. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna keep piling these up and I'll show you what they look like before we put them in the oven. Now look at how gorgeous this looks. Because I didn't smash it all together, it was really easy to kind of pile it up really high. Oh my gosh, it smells wonderful without even baking it. So I've got this one big dish, and then look at these, uh, come closer, look at these adorable little ramekins. So these are like one serving. These look so cool. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese to the top of these. And I'll just kind of, uh, you know, press it on a little bit. The mixture with the sour cream is kind of sticky, so whatever you put on top will pretty much stick. There you go. Ooh, I can't wait to try these. I'm gonna put these in that 425 degree oven for about half an hour until these are nice and golden brown. I can't wait to see them, I don't know about you guys. I'll show you when they come out of the oven. Hey friends, you know what? While those potatoes are cooking in the oven, and by the way, it's smelling divine in my kitchen, doesn't it, Eddie? It certainly does. Can't wait to try those potatoes, but I wanna give you guys a quick reminder if there's any kitchen gadgets that I'm using that you would like to buy for yourself, all you need to do is click on the description of my video and scroll down and you'll see all the links for my most popular kitchen gadgets. Also there, you will see my Facebook page link. You want to make sure you go to my Facebook and like it and take a look at some of the posts I put there because that's where I put all my giveaways and I give away all sorts of kitchen gadgets. So make sure you do that for me. Thanks, you guys. 
this smells fantastic, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And it's just gorgeous. This would be so cool to impress somebody mm, at dinner yeah. time to give them their own portion of these Romanoff potatoes. Let's taste and tell me what you think. Mm. 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 I can taste a little bit of garlic in there from those shallots. It's nice and crunchy on the top and so creamy on the inside. What do you think? It is. You got the combination of both. Mm. The creaminess inside. I love the crunch on the mm. outside. This is a great dish. I'm so glad we made this today. Thanks for being here today, you guys. Make sure you visit often. Make sure you click on subscribe. And uh, thanks again for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.